February. Yes, good evening, everyone. This is Melanie Lewis. I'm your chair of the Education and Library Committee. Thank you so much for joining us. Those of you that are already here, welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for joining us. We usually try to give five minutes uh, for those that will be joining us. Uh, we have already begun recording, just so you know. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, community. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate you for being here on this evening. And happy Black History Month. So I'm good just evening, take everyone. A yes, good evening, Janelle. Yes. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I am doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you all things considered. <laughs> and welcome, Dexter. I see that you've joined us as well. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi. I joined you for a few minutes because I have prayer meeting tonight. I am in a month of prayer and we finish on Friday. So, and I'm the host. So I'm here until eight o'clock. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for being here. It's all of our committee members that help us to be able to make this happen. Uh, so your presence is definitely needed and welcome and we're grateful for it. Definitely say a prayer for our committee and our board and our borough and I know you got it covered next to me. And everyone, just so that you know, we have our district manager uh, with us on this evening, Mr. Dante Arwine. Thank you so much for joining us on this evening as well. Of course, thank you for having me. Look forward to hearing the work of the committee. Thank you. I'm going to ask for a volunteer uh, when once we get started to actually read over our minutes. Our minutes was submitted uh, already uh, via email. And so um, if one of you can maybe raise your hand or just uh, let me know um, that you would be available to read those minutes, that would be awesome um, so that we can be all set when, it's, when we call um, for the reading of the minutes. So I know right now it's just um, myself, Dexter and Janil, uh, but if one of you don't mind uh, reading over the minutes this evening, just let me know. And we still have another minute before we start. All right, so one more minute until we start and hopefully we can get a volunteer to read over tonight's minutes or you'll just be hearing a lot of my voice on this evening. <laughs> All right, the time is now 7.05. And once again, welcome community. My name is Melanie Lewis, and I am the chair of the Education Committee for Community Board 9. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Happy Black History Month. Um, one of the first items on our agenda is the reading of the minutes. We do this intentionally to make sure that everyone is all set and on board and understand uh, what is happening in our community as well, what's been going on with our board. So without further ado, I would like to ask one of our committee members if they would uh, read our minutes for uh, January, which was the last time we, um, we met. If I could get a volunteer that would be reading uh, the minutes, that would be great. Once again, those minutes were sent via email um, to everyone. So I'm gonna give it a minute because uh, I don't want my voice to be the only one we hear on this evening. We understand that everybody has a busy schedule and this is another reason why we read the minutes. 
uh, because we know that everyone may not have necessarily got a chance to read them before uh, coming into the meeting on today. So this is why we read them. So once again, if I can get someone to uh, read over the minutes uh, for this I, evening. I can read them. And who's that? Janelle. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Janelle. We appreciate that. So these are the January minutes. Thanks so much. Yeah, do you want me to start now? Yes. Okay, um, so let's see. First one, committee chair Melanie Lewis called the meeting to order at 7.05 p.m. Um, review of December 2021 committee minutes. Committee chair moves to leave the minutes as reference until additional committee members are present. Um, then the third resolution, committee chair updates. Contact made with president of CEC 17, Erica Kendall. Uh, B, outreach made to public, sorry, Brooklyn Public Library to participate in February 2022 meeting. Uh, please let me know if I'm speaking too fast. Oh, no, you sound good okay. to me. Okay. <laughs> C, overview of education related topics, including COVID 19 outbreaks within classrooms and cascading effects onto families. D, acknowledgement of guests. Uh, resolution four, election of committee officers. Sol Creary, I, I hope I didn't botch uh, that person's last name, <laughs> expressed interest in serving as vice chair. Uh, myself, Janelle Basil Charles, expressed interest in serving as treasurer. C, elections to be formalized during full quorum. Fifth resolution, election of committee. Oh, sorry, I just read that. Uh, yeah, subcommittee projects. Book giveaway scheduled for Saturday, January 22nd with rain slash snow day of Saturday, January 29th, anticipation of additional book donations, B, spelling B, suggestions to convert subcommittee tasks towards assisting district schools with their educational programs, or thematic literature recommendations, Dexter Roberts to offer logistical guidance on execution, C, Jackie Robinson Day, at April 15, 2022, thoughts on launching a, spe a spelling bee, host event in collaboration with CEC 17. Um, next resolution, Erica Kendall, CEC 17 president. A, district compromises of 31 schools, 16 charter schools, approximately 25 students, well, sorry, 25,000 students. Uh, dual language sports, arts, speech, and debate programs available. C, major DOE staffing issues. Uh, D, focus on community enrichment programs, after school and extracurricular activities, special needs programs, COVID-19 awareness and prevention. Uh, e, current CEC term limited to 2023. F, will forward jurisdictional data and metrics, executive committee education and library report. Um, next resolution, A, book giveaway logistics. Uh, Black History Month potential initiatives. C, Jackie Robinson spelling B, logistics adjournment. Uh, meeting, oh, meeting was adjourned at 8, 8 p.m. on January 21st. Awesome. Thank you so much uh, for reading over the minutes, Neil. We appreciate you. Um, does anyone have any questions or any, uh, uh, any corrections of the minutes? All right, well, thank you so much. Um, I would like to ask uh, Dexter or um, Principal Maureen Ferry, thank you so much. Um, if, um, if one of you wouldn't mind having the, uh, the agenda open as well to help us make sure that we're staying on the agenda and kind of uh, make sure that we're moving right along, that would be um, helpful to us as well. Um, so I guess I'll just, Say if you all happen to have it up already, let me know. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you soon, soon. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Okay, great. Okay, Ms. Perry. All right, so um, I guess I'll just let you, I'll actually allow you to facilitate if you don't mind just letting us know the next, um, the next item on the agenda. I know what it is, but I just figured we'll do it this way. <laughs> Me, Miss Lewis? Yeah. Okay, sure. Hi, first of all. Good evening, everybody. Greetings, greetings. Great to be here. 
And so the next item on the agenda is the chairperson's report. All right, well, thank you so much, y'all. That would be me. Um, so I want to make you aware that in our last meeting, um, if you picked it up from the minutes and those of you that were here or those of you that looked on the recording, we were able to uh, make contact with our uh, CEC, our um, community, uh, 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 boy, I'm getting a brain freeze at the moment, forgive me, our um, community engagement um, committee, and correct me if I'm saying that incorrectly at the moment, uh, but certainly we were grateful to be able to have our CEC representative with us on our last meeting. She was able to share a really great information with us and different things that are going on and happening. And in the meeting, um, one of the things that we were talking about was some of the borders um, in which uh, we are served in our education, um, the schools that are served within the district. Uh, and she was able to send that over to us. So I, forward, I forwarded that over to members of the committee so that you can be made aware. So you can actually check your emails and see that. If for any reason that you didn't get a copy of that, um, as it was communicated that it would be sent out, um, I'll definitely get that over to you. So if you're a member and you have not received that information, I can definitely um, share that with you as well. And so with that being said, mentioning community district, uh, our district 17, I wanna make you all aware that I'm very excited. We were able to be in contact with our uh, very own um, superintendent of district 17. We were very able, very happy to be able to make contact with her and um, in the office, uh, they were able to share with us, you know, the fact that they are on Facebook, they are on Instagram, and we want to make sure our community is abreast because all of the schools within our district, you know, are under the umbrella of District 17. And District 17 puts out initiatives for the community. And we want to make sure that everyone's aware of those events that they have going on. Um, they did have a state of the district address in January. I'm not sure if anyone was aware or were able to participate or attend that meeting. Certainly, if you did, let me know. We would love to, um, to hear a summary. Um, otherwise, we did request from the office if there was any recording so that we can in turn, you know, again, share uh, with the community as well. Uh, because one of the initiatives of our board is to make sure that we're advocating for the needs of the district. So we want to make sure that we're doing that and we're keeping abreast to that information. Uh, so we're very excited that we're able to make contact with them. And we did invite our superintendent to join us for March. And uh, so um, I'm definitely going to ask those of you that have anything specific that you would like to hear from our superintendent of our schools in District 17, definitely um, share it within this meeting or send me an email uh, so that we can, or you can send your questions to those of you in the community that are watching this. You can actually send your um, information or your question rather to our uh, Brooklyn Community Board 9. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can in turn make sure that's addressed in March. So the idea is to have our uh, superintendent to join us, a superintendent of our community district 17, our education district 17, to join us for Women's History Month. Also looking to get another special guest who I won't mention right now, but I'll just say you'll probably guess when I say a representative from DOE and a representative from CUNY. So you might have a guess, would it be in Women's History Month, who that might be that we're going to potentially invite. So oh, certainly um, it's exciting and we're looking to be able to make sure that we're hear hearing from our leadership and our community and the things that they are doing. Many of you may or may not know that uh, our students in K through 12 just did receive their uh, latest report card from the last term. And they also were able to gain their new schedules. So that's K through 12, they already got their report cards. So parents, guardians, uh, if you have not seen a report card, 
it is time to ask somebody uh, for that report card and um, uh, definitely be able to see what that new schedule is looking like uh, for students uh, for this spring term. Also those that are in you know, our public uh, City University of New York, they also are now in their spring term. Um, so all the best to all students that are in college right now as well. And we certainly wish um, everyone that's getting that higher learning all the best right now. Uh, so uh, last but not least, um, one of the things that I would like to share is um, something um, near and dear um, to me right now. And I'm going to attempt to share my screen one moment. Let me see if I can make sure I can get this up really fast. I have um, something to share with you all. And I'm trying to look to make sure I get it up so that you all can see it. But I wanna, I'm gonna make you aware right now uh, that um, one of our uh, community members that contributed a lot in education has recently transitioned and we want to um, acknowledge um, her contributions and education and to our community. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to share my screen right now. Let me see if this works out. Dante, is that going to work or let's see? Let's see if it'll yeah, work you, out. You should be able to share your screen on the bottom. Oh. There you go. Okay. What are you What are you all seeing right now? You see uh, screen broadcast. Um, yeah, it says everything on your screen, including notifications, will be recorded. Now we see your notifications. Um, okay. Yeah. Now okay. we can. See, there you go. All right, so Judy Mack was born in Brooklyn, New York on April 14th, 1945. She actually attended uh, elementary school in the New York City Department of Education and was in the first graduating class of junior high school 61. Glad that's the Atwell Intermediate school that we have located where we actually used to have our community board meetings um, prior to COVID-19. Uh, she also uh, attended Prospect Heights High School in 1963 uh, and she was a marshal at that time. She attended um, you know, once again, she attended Prospect Heights High School, uh, but after she went and had her children, she became very involved in education. In fact, she attended Baruch uh, College as one of the first SEEK participants in 1966 when the SEEK program was initiated um, under the City University of New York. And she also served in our community district 17, um, having served on the parent advisory committees um, within community district 17. And she was actually also the woman that was responsible and on the team um, that actually uh, had students to start to uh, enter Jackie Robinson uh, Middle School from the front of the building as opposed to the back of the building. Anyone that knew anything about Jackie Robinson uh, Middle School back in the day knows that, you know, we, there were some gang issues. Uh, there were issues with the, uh, you know, when it would ring, it would flood in the back of the school. Students had to walk over giant put puddles of rain to be able to get over, um, to get out of the school. And so she was part of the team necessary uh, that engaged in making sure that students would now enter through the front of the school, the same entrance as the teachers and staff, which was more kept up and students were looked after and it was more safe for the students. So I just wanted to make sure that 
um, everyone was aware of this piece of black history and this person, uh, Miss Judy Sunshine Lewis, who actually just transitioned in January. And this is near and dear to me uh, because she's actually my mother. So I wanted to take the liberty to make our community aware. Some of you are already aware, uh, but she has transitioned in January. So I just wanted to, you know, uh, make everyone aware of this. And I wanted to acknowledge her work in our community and give thanks as she is now an ancestor. So if we can just take a, just a moment of silence, um, I just wanna take that liberty uh, for us to just have a, a moment of silence and gratefulness uh, for this member of our community board nine that did make a difference. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much. Um, hopefully, you know, everyone was able to learn something more, you know, so now when you think of the children walking in uh, Jackie Robinson Middle School, you'll see that we had someone in our community that um, actually helped to make that difference. And it was actually your own chair's mom. <laughs> so um, thank you for obliging me as we took that time to honor mom um, on her transition um, as she is now an ancestor. And I give thanks for her input and what she's done in our community. Um, so thank you so much. Um, so moving right along, um, can you let us know what the next item on the agenda is, please? Absolutely. And thank you, Ms. Lewis, for sharing that and condolences to you and the family for your mom. But she sounds incredible. And that was it was just beautiful to learn about her story and what she did. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So next is an acknowledgement of representatives and guests for public comment period. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is the time when we want to acknowledge anyone that's with us that wants to have anything that they want to share on during our meeting or this evening. If you are a member of um, any of our um, elected official offices or if you work in our community and uh, within our community uh, education council or if you work in community district 17 just let us know um, so that we can um, add you to the end of the meeting in which you'll have two to three minutes to be able to um, share any current events or anything happening that we should be made abreast. I would actually like to share something Ms. Lewis. Okay awesome. Thank you. Awesome thanks so much so we'll add we'll definitely add to the agenda. Thanks so much. All right, next item on the agenda. It is open action items. And the first is open positions for vice chair, secretary, and treasurer. Okay. All right, so one of the situations that we've been having everyone, you may see that we continue to have these items on the agenda. And what you also see is everyone on our committee is not present. And when this happens, we do not have a quorum. And when we don't have a quorum, we're not able to vote. And when we're not able to vote, you see the downward spiral, y'all like, understand what I'm saying, where, where, where this is going. We always, it, it, it takes us back to square one. And I will tell you, um, even before I had real transitions to occur, occur in my life, uh, you know, we didn't have, a, we don't, we still don't have a vice chair in place and we don't have these other positions in place. And so it, it leaves us in a position where maybe I would have needed to call out today and we would not have had a meeting today and that's not what I want for us you know the show must go on 
no matter what's happening in Melanie's life, you know, so I want us to be able to make sure that we can do go ahead and advocate for what we need in our community. And we can only do that when we have, you know, our total board in place. And that's making sure we have a vice chair, making sure we have a secretary that can record what's happening. Because what's going on right now is our, our district office, they're taking the meeting minutes and they're sharing it, you know, and, and they're standing in the gap for us and we appreciate them, but that's why we're here. And although we're volunteers, we want to make sure that we, you know, have a full working board. And so I know we have Janelle that is interested in being treasurer and she is here tonight. Um, we know that we have someone else that expressed interest in being a vice chair. Unfortunately, I don't see them here as yet. So at this time, I'm going to give the floor to our very own district manager, Dante our wine uh, to share uh, words and what have you regarding this situation. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Um, so, you know, I, I, I know that sometimes, um, you know, volunteering for a, a position of leadership um, can be some responsibility, right? But it's extremely important that the committees um, are filled uh, especially the le leadership positions, right? Secretary is an extremely um, important position, right? Uh, and so, you know, we in the district office, we created a template for committee minutes. So hopefully whoever serves as secretary, literally all you just need to do is plug in um, the information from the meeting. So that will, you know, help help um, move this the process of being secretary uh, along and it keeps everything uniform that allows us to if there's a secretary that allows for the information one we know where to go to get the information um and you know the secretary will send the information to the board office the faster that we get it the faster you know it's um available to the public uh in, in you know in the interest of transparency and so you know what we try you know what we're trying to do is you know we want to be transparent um, you know, we want to have a thorough process. So having a secretary is extremely important. Um, it's, you know, once a month, um, there's already a template. So, you know, we in the district office, you know, we'll look at every measure um, that we can, you know, to, to ease any burdens, uh, to make sure that, you know, you guys have the resources that you need uh, to fulfill uh, the mission of the board and uh, to fulfill the uh, mission of the, of the committee. And so, you know, I just want to urge you all, um, you know, the chair is offering, you know, this opportunity for folks to serve. And, um, you know, I hope that you all take it. It's extremely important that a vice chair um, is also um, um, elected as well. Um, I, if I'm this committee was looking to do a book giveaway. And unfortunately, you know, the weather got in the way two weekends in a row. And, um, you know, as as we all just heard, um, you know, the chair's mother uh, uh, transitioned uh, in January. And so, you know, that's the time for a, a, a vice chair to step up and take that responsibility to ensure that these events, the things that the committee uh, is planning, they can still happen. Right. Um, at the end of the day, the, com the, the community gets shortchanged. So that's not what we want. We want to make sure that, you know, while we're planning um, um, programming for for the community, we wanted to, you know, we want to make sure that um, it's fulfilled. Right. We want to bring resources and information to to the community. And so, you know, I, sometimes, you know, in a position of leadership can be can, can be much. But at, in, on the district office side, you know, talk to us. We're human beings. We, you know, we'll do whatever we can um, to make this process um, as smooth as possible. Awesome. Thanks so much, Dante. Appreciate you very much. So what it looks like right now is that um, it appears we still don't have a quorum again, uh, which looks like, you know, with lack of attendance as well as interest that we're back at square one again. Um, so that's where we are, folks, uh, just to make sure everybody is on the same page. Uh, so again, if you're interested in any of these um, areas, let us know. Uh, Janelle, thanks so much for your interest in serving as treasurer. Uh, um, um, I guess we are going to probably have to look into bylaws to see if, I mean, she's interested in being treasurer. We may not have a quorum. 
and you know it's that it's it, we're about to go into march and you know we have a person that's ready willing and able so it seems that you know we would be able to just move her into that position to let her serve um you know uh, we would like to get everyone's you know input on that you know but there is no competition <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, and no one else has expressed it. So um, I, I would I would want to take the liberty of saying uh, that we would, you know, move along with Janelle, you know, as our treasurer, you know, and and you know whatever we have to do to make that official, I guess we can. But it it seems that we would be able to to move along and allow her to do so. Uh, but we'll get confirmation on that um, and, um, and make sure we would be able to do that. We know that we have someone that expressed interest in and in being vice chair as well. Um, yet, if they don't come on before the end of our meeting today, um, that would be two meetings i believe that they have not been able to make it and and i understand that things happen and i get it but we need a vice chair that's going to be present all the time as much as possible um so again this is for our community it's for us to be able to so we can get things done um so we need everyone to be as present as possible uh, for the duration of the meeting and we also need folks that'll be able to be in place um or y'all are just, you know, y'all just be depending on me. <laughs> but I appreciate you all. And I did come here to serve, uh, but together everyone achieves more. Yes, Ms. Beverly Newsom. Um, good afternoon, I apologize for being late. I have a suggestion. Um, since you are, um, since the committee, not you, because we're collective, since we're struggling to have a vice chair, May I suggest, because um, it has been my experience that people are uncomfortable um, stepping up into leadership roles because I think it's it's the unknown that really concerns mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. May I suggest that we um, ask two individuals to share that role. If one person is uncomfortable in stepping up, then we say, okay, you'll be in partners with, you'll be co-vice chairs. So that way it won't be um, as it'll give each person an opportunity to wet their feet without totally being there by themselves, feeling overwhelmed or obligated or whatever. And then when you pair them up like that, there's going to be one person that, oh, this is not as bad as I thought. Okay. So I'd like to suggest that. Thank you so much for your suggestion. I see Welcome. another hand. Yeah, I don't know if this is the appropriate time, but I would be willing to um, throw my hat in for a role. Thank you so much, Ms. Ferry. And which role would you be interested in serving? Um, Vice Chair, if that person doesn't come back today or <laughs> secretary and my only concern is like I have school events on you know on weeknights and so I will mm -hmm. likely have conflict sometimes so that's my only concern with committing to secretary okay thank you so much for that that's much appreciated so I am writing down that we have this Maureen Ferry who is interested also in serving as vice chair. So thank you so much. And Beverly, as per your suggestion, um, we'll be looking to see, um, you know, with these things, we always have to check the bylaws to make sure that's okay. Charger. Um, you know, so thank you so much again um, for that suggestion as well. Another, another way for folks to get, um, get prepared is really just talking to me. <laughs> You know, what is it that I have to do to prepare for the meeting? What is it that is expected of me? What is it? What is what do you all expect of me? You know, what it is that you expect of me is also um, what is expected in the vice chair, because we share we pretty much share the same role. So you expect me to show up. So you expect that vice chair to also show up. You expect to have minutes. You expect to um, have an agenda. 
Um, you expect the committee to be able to be doing something, um, but that something also goes with the committees um, and the subcommittees, you know, that, you know, makes us a whole. Uh, so honestly, that's really the gist of it, you know, being able to, to speak with people and relate to people, being able to contact, you know, those in our community that can uh, join us and, uh, you know, like, like, you know, like the fact that I had reached out to the CEC and the fact that I reached out to our community um, district office and still, you know, reaching out to different folks to join us. And, you know, so that's what it is, you know, being able to engage um, with others and, and um, really, uh, you know, and, and also attending executive committee uh, meetings with our executive board of community board nine. Um, if I'm not able to attend or, or maybe even joining me for that particular um, a meeting. Um, and it is in that meeting that report, we report to the executive committee what we've done here and what it is that our committee is doing. Um, so yeah, you're expected on the committee meetings, expected on the executive committee meetings and expected during the general meetings. So that's three meetings <laughs> per month. In addition to your planning time and reaching out to others in the community. Um, so that's what that looks like. Um, so I'm glad this question was asked or that we even shared it, you know, so we were able to approach this and, you know, we all can look and see um, what we're able to do. The fact that you all have showed up already lets me know, you know, we're all leaders and we all have things that we're, we're doing that we contribute, you know, so, you know, once again, I've written down, um, um, you know, our, our very own uh, Ms. Ferry. Um, and if you all are not aware, Ms. Ferry, well, she'll, I'm sure we'll hear more from her because she's on the agenda. So you'll get to know more, a little more about Ms. Ferry later on. Uh, but she is a committee member um, and we appreciate her for being here um, as well. Um, she definitely has a, a busy day as well. Uh, so, uh, well, I guess we'll move on um, in our agenda. Um, we'll, um, next month, we'll be able to um, see if we can confirm, you know, exactly who will step up and be that vice chair. Uh, we'll, we'll see what that looks like uh, for, for March, as well as confirming um, Janelle as our treasurer. So thank you so much um, to the both of you and everyone for your input. All right, next up is subcommittees for projects, starting with the book giveaway. Yeah, so with the book giveaway, um, our lead on the book giveaway is Demetria. For those that, that are aware of the book fair from last year, you know that Demetria um, works as a teacher in our schools and she has the partnership with our sponsor and they, uh, you know, gave her the books. She has the books. Um, she hasn't been feeling well, so we definitely want to send um, positive vibes her way. Uh, but um, we know that, um, you know, the weather, uh, you know, has been what it's been, and we haven't had the book giveaway. So it's looking like we're going to need to choose another date, um, perhaps when it's much warmer outside and we may not have to worry about rain or sleet or snow, you know, like the, our, blessed post workers that go out in any weather and make it happen. Uh, so uh, yeah, we have to think of another date. So if anybody has any suggestions on another date for us to do it, let me know. Um, we can just throw out suggestions and we could kind of, you know, write those down. Madam Chair, if, 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 if I may. Um, mm -hmm. So some of the uh, other chairs have been um, discussing doing like a large CB9 um, event toward the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I would bring this up, you know, for your committee uh, to, to entertain um, that idea. Uh, it mm -hmm. looks like, uh, I, I believe that 
um, Nicholas Almendor, chair, the chair of the Parks Recreation and Culture Committee, is really mm -hmm. um, heading it. And it okay. looks like it will be something along the lines of, um, you know, each committee will, you know, be there. They'll, so, for example, you guys want to do the book giveaway. You'll have a section where the book giveaway happens. Um, you know, the Environmental Protection Committee will be there. Um, whatever they're planning, they'll have a section. So each committee, um, you know, will have a section. And it will just be one large um, day um, that's, you know, really the board itself being out. So that, that you know, has been brought up. Um, I leave that out there for, for your uh, committee to maintain. And again, you know, this isn't, you know, set in stone. It really depends on uh, your committee and, the, you know, depending on what you guys want to do and how resources um, are allocated, so on and so forth. Um, but just wanted to leave that out there for, for, for you so you have that information. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that's that's definitely appreciated. That's definitely something we can take into consideration. Um, what I can do is I can send out an email to everyone in the committee. Um, definitely, you all can express now what you think if you would like to you know, join um, in that endeavor, uh, or if we want to also pick a, a particular date. Um, as well. And depending upon how many books, we might be able to do both. We might be able to have a day where we um, still do the um, individual book giveaway because, you know, it was a good look for our, our board office, you know, to be able to be out there with our tent and stuff. And we had a good time. Um, and again, for those of you that don't know anything about it, check our Instagram at CB9 Education and you'll, you know, see some videos that were posted um, from that particular event the last time we had it. Uh, but surely, you know, we can look to see if we want to do that, um, that way, you know, doing an in-person as well as doing, um, you know, the combined with the, um, the board which I think is great as well. What are, what's some input anybody has? Question. Mm -hmm. um, Dante, when you say the end of the year, do you mean like all 2022 <laughs> academic year? Like Fair what question. year, calendar well, year? The end of the uh, community board session. So okay. board, yeah. so um, I, I'm thinking that they're looking to do something in probably May. Um, okay. So May, June-ish, uh, but yes, Got it. fair question. <laughs> okay. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. um, one other thought is maybe combining the Jackie Robinson day with the book day, book giveaway day. Mm -hmm. If yep. the Jackie Robinson day is still happening, it could be, you know, the book giveaway could be a part of that. It could be a draw to folks. That's good as well. That's cool. Thank you. Any other input? Beverly Dexter, I'm calling y'all names intentionally so we can get more input. <laughs> I know I'll that. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been sidetracked um, for, we've been rained out twice mm -hmm. for the book fair. And I don't know how possible this is, but, and it, and it could be something that may be challenging. But have we thought about having a virtual book fair? We have not. That means, and, and the vision, and, and I know you're going to say, what does that look like? Um, in my head, it looks like people would have a stack of books. They would come and there would be a bag of books as they were looking at Facebook or whatever. And the book titles would be read and then people would, oh, I want that, I want that bag or that bag, and we save it with their address on it. We don't deliver. They'd have to stop by the office and pick it up. And everyone could make a choice so that that, that could happen, rain or shine. I think Dante. I haven't quite fleshed it out yet, but that's how I see mm -hmm. it. Thank you. Thank you for your input. I would just say that it's, well, it is a, a giveaway and you did express how they would, they would order it and then they would like pick it up. Um, I believe there was the only thing is I believe there was some, some concern about um, um, having a certain number of people in the board office or um, something to that effect. Um, they have to say when they're going to come by to pick it up. They can't just pop up. 
all mm -hmm. the other all the other constraints would be in place. Um, mm -hmm. They go virtually and see the bag. It would say what authors are in the bag, and they pick whatever bag they want because they there would be someone there or a couple of us would be there um, discussing. These are the name of the books. These are the authors. Um, and we would have them listed as well on Facebook. Which one would you want for the people who don't who who don't want to come or who are not able to come? And then, but if this is a book you've chosen, please give us your contact information so that we can call you um, and schedule an appointment. Mm -hmm. That all the other stuff would be in place. Thank you, Beverly, Janelle. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But when I think about turnout, I feel like there'll be greater turnout if it was in person, just because I think that when you think about that idea, there's just a lot of logistical stuff that goes behind that. And families, like, they might not necessarily want to go through that. Um, so I think that, like, we probably would reach, like, a broader range of, like, people if it was, like, in person. Mm -hmm. That's just my input. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Dexter, I know you have to get off soon. Do you have any input regarding this? I am pretty much, I pretty much cool with the book fair and I would probably wait until the weather is much more better um, for us to do the book fair or to probably collaborate with someone else. I just know how the virtual book fair would look like because I just know how many people we would be able to attract to come to this fair online. So that is another thing, but the online fair sounds nice, but because I am not sure how many people we, we would be able to attract online, I wouldn't waste, I wouldn't want to waste an, um, my energy there then. I'd rather do it in person because you will get, you'll attract more people who passing by that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. if you want, but we could try, <coughs> sorry, forgive me. We can try the virtual fair if, everyone so desire, but I just know how it look like, but I would like to, I think it might be good, but I'm not sure how many people we would attract to come by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, thank you. I appreciate everyone's input. I mean, for the most part, it looks like, you know, from hearing everybody, it sounds though, you know, more of, you know, more are interested in an in-person situation. Um, so we do have, I mean, I think a virtual um, is great, like God forbid, and I did say that we were on some lockdown again, you know, or something like that, like dire, you know, and we had to figure, and we were, we were like, we're going to find a way to make one for our community, to get these books, you know what I mean? But um, since thank goodness, you know, there's, you know, ability for us to still be in person um, that we do go forward um, just based on, you know, everybody's um, input um, that we do have it to be an in-person situation. Now the decision is whether or not to do it for the Jackie Robinson event or to do it for um, um, the collaboration. So that's something that we could probably table. We've already established that it's something that'll be um, in person and um, we can have like that subcommittee to discuss that forward and um, just uh, bring it back to um, our committee since we do have some time. You know, I don't think we're looking to do this in March. Um, so, you know, the Jackie Robinson day is in April, um, and then we have May and June, and that's it already, y'all, for the year, oh my goodness, you know, so that's what we're looking at. So we do have time to be able to report that back um, in March, and feel free to send me an email, and we can collaborate through email too, y'all. We don't have to wait, you know, a whole month to be able to communicate, so thank you everyone for your input uh, regarding the book, um, the book giveaway. Um, so yes, we'll be sharing more information pertaining to that and anything we hear from um, 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 Dimitri as well, who's our point person on, on this particular event. What do we have next on the agenda? Um, more open items and next is the spelling bee. Oh yes. So Beverly, last, um, last week we had a heated conversation when I, well, I shouldn't say it was heated, but I will tell you that I attempted to report back um, suggestions uh, regarding uh, the, since there was, um, you know, concern with the timing and everything concerning the spelling bee and putting it together. And, you know, we heard from some folks in education um, that it 
that expressed that it would be um, difficult to do so in this environment right now. Um, I did put out the suggestion that was put out when I attended uh, the subcommittee meeting um, for there to be some collaboration with the schools. Uh, and um, for those of you that don't know, um, Beverly is on that subcommittee. Um, so I did share that in our last meeting. Um, and um, I understand that, um, well, I would just tell you all in that particular subcommittee, the only person that was able to be there was Beverly on that particular day. So I don't know, um, I just wanted to preface this a bit. You know, the suggestion was put out there um, due to the fact that, you know, it would be challenging. Um, Beverly did come up with the idea for us to be able to um, support the schools by, you know, um, doing an event at the school, you know, you know, maybe having a DJ or reading to the students, you know, at a particular school on a particular given day, just as an additional support, you know, since some schools are short staff and, and things of that sort. Uh, but this would be left up to the subcommittee to really get together and do. Um, so I don't know, Beverly, if there's any traction on that that you would like to share, or um, uh, I wanna give you uh, the floor about that. Um, the last time we spoke, Melanie, and I wasn't at the last meeting, sorry about that. Um, it was supposed to go back to the committee, the broader committee for it to be discussed. How did that go? Forgive me, I, I, I thought I just gave a, a summary that I'd reported it out. No, you said you had a heated discussion, but you didn't tell me what the what heated discussion, discussion what Yeah, the heated like discussion. the heated discussion could have been in 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 advocacy for um against I, I don't I don't know. What well was the the, well the thing the thing is at the end of the day, the committee can discuss it, but it's the subcommittee that would be carrying it out. Um, so there were those that were like, well, maybe it can happen. Maybe, maybe uh, the subcommittee, instead of having the spelling bee, can move forward and, and, and still have the spelling bee. And there were those that were like, well, um, I think it's great for, you know, there to be now the input of, you know, the committee to be able to assist in the school's by having a DJ for an event or reading a book to a student. Um, at the end of the day, it really goes back to, it really goes back to the subcommittee. What so, do you all want to do? Do you want to have the spelling bee? Do you want to move forward on that? Or do you want to move forward, get with the school and go ahead? Cause that, that, that you know. So regardless, Regardless of what we do, let's just a couple things. Um, am I the only person here from that subcommittee? Yes, you are. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I will speak as the only person here from that subcommittee. Um, the way I view it is that when you went back to the broader committee, this is how I see it. Subcommittees, spell and be, or, or, or book giveaway, Subcommittees are point persons or point committees for the event itself. They are, that, that is where the broader committee would go to to ask questions. They set up the logistics. So um, even though we have the final say, the subcommittees have the final say, they still need the input of the broader committee because those are those extra hands that's going to make the event be truly successful. So um, even though you were saying and I, I do agree. I think the spelling bee is placing the burden on the school, on the teacher to do a certain part. And from what I can understand now, teachers are preoccupied between dealing with COVID in the classroom, being stressed out about hybrid learning. Teachers are really in this place that for us to place another burden on them would be unfair when we're supposed to be here as some community support. So with that being said, I think that we should look to one, find something that's gonna uplift their day. And that goes back to the suggestions that we discussed 
in the subcommittee meeting in regards to for little ones, there'd be a reading day. There'd be a story time because in, in, the, in the early grades, that is what they have. And I don't know if they have it anymore, but some level of puppet show or something like that, that they can look forward to. And, and that's all what we're talking about. Classrooms, teachers, students having something to look forward to, to in the middle of a pandemic. And yes, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So teachers are still calling out sick. People are still being hospitalized with COVID. Students are still, unfortunately, contracting and some of them are passing away. So we got to find something that's going to uplift their day. Something, mommy, guess what? Friday, we're going to have a puppet show. Guess what? We're going to have a virtual DJ. Just we That's our job. That's what we've chosen to do. That's our job. So I think... Although the spelling D is a good thing, part of that, the burden is going to be on the teacher in the school, and that's not fair. In the current climate. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Beverly. So the position of the spelling bee committee is that there would not be a spelling bee this year, uh, but that the spelling bee committee and and I and I and I'll just share that um, Demetria also was on that committee and she did express um, because she is a teacher um, um, in agreement um, for there not to be a spelling bee due to all that's um, going on right now. Um, so it's it's clear that the uh, you know the committee you know right now um, has decided not to have the spelling bee, um, and so on. Uh, the recommendation of the spelling bee committee for there to be support in the schools, that particular, that particular initiative would be something that would happen either March, April, May, or June. Um, and then you have to decide when that's going to happen. So there would be a new subcommittee formed that would work to make that happen. Contacting. What's the that, Melanie? What's the that? The the you said to make that happen. Are we talking about the virtual experience? Are we talk what what are we talking about when you say that happened? The initiative that you put forth to support okay. the schools. Mm -hmm. The initiative. So, what do we want to call that? What do we want to call that subcommittee? You know, if we had it, say, in April, it could be spring day. Hmm. Okay, so that's so that's like so that's so that's like an event um, as opposed to like supporting, like contacting a school and asking them if Community Board 9 can come in and like read with students or if they can get a DJ. Anything outside of the regular routine for a school would be an event, regardless of what we did. If we had the puppets to come, that's an event for the kids. It's outside of their regular routine. It's an event. If we had DJ to come for the middle schoolers and the high schoolers, that's an event. And the reason I say that is for the puppet show, I'm sure it's going to change something either the kids are going to bring their lunch or it's going to change something for the middle schoolers or the high schoolers if we had a virtual dj they're going to dress different they're going to if it's nothing but wear their new sneaks so where that is something that symbolizes today is different so mm -hmm. you know it's not something that's going to require a great deal of energy as far as we have to sit up this put up balloons this that not that, but for the kids, it's something outside of their regular routine. So it's going to be an event. Okay. Um, so forgive me, and certainly anybody can interject, anybody can add, but just to get an understanding, um, we're, we have other events on our calendar that we're looking um, to do. Um, the book fair giveaway is certainly an event that we're looking to potentially maybe happen at the Jackie Robinson day or that we have that particular event on another day. That's an event um, supporting the schools by uh, having a DJ 
come to the school. That wouldn't be all the schools within District 17, whereas our spelling bee was going to be uh, a spelling bee contacting specific schools that were interested in participating. If we're talking about having a DJ and um, or a reading to children, I would think that's specific school, a specific school that would be going to to do that, um, as opposed to so, an event where we would you, be having an event but, and inviting people. But but um, Melanie, you you ask me, <laughs> how did I see this? And it wouldn't be the school system; it would be one school. Okay, whether so it is one school. It's one, but regardless of whether it's one school, it's still an event in that school. That school is having an event. Just like with the book giveaway on the sidewalk, that is an event. Something that does not typically happen out of the ordinary is an event. Okay, so we needed a subcommittee for this event, okay? okay? So whatever this event is, we need a subcommittee for it so the subcommittee can plan it and come back to the committee and report it to the committee. Cause this is, that's what so we then want that's to do. A so then that's a, a task for the broader committee, correct? Because you, right now you're speaking to the one person in the, not the spelling bee, but I forgot the name of the committee that I'm in. Okay. You're speaking to one person who's in that committee, but now another event has arisen as a result of the um, not being able to do the event that this community is named for. So right. now that goes back to the broader committee to decide who wants to be in that subcommittee. Correct. We yes. are on the same page. This yes. is not, you're the person responding, but I did open it up to everyone. So I said, <laughs> so we're on the same page. We're all set, all is well. We established the fact that there is no more spelling bee committee. Let me just be clear. There's no more spelling bee committee. The spelling bee committee has decided there will be no spelling bee. So that's X off and it will no longer be on our agenda for this consecutive term. Right now, based on recommendation of the former spelling bee committee, we're forming a new committee for an event in which you did suggest Beverly. So that's why I opened it up. Um, so we, you know, that's why I was asking you more questions, um, but it is certainly open um, for anyone that is interested is in serving on that subcommittee to be able to join that subcommittee. So anyone interested in, in, in working, um, I, I let me not assume that you'll be on this committee, Beverly, based on the fact that it was a recommendation, but I'm, um, will you be on this committee, on this subcommittee? I like or, the idea, yes. Okay, all right. But all right. it is so, my idea, sir. Yes, 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 okay. So, but, so I mean, yeah, but we have to, but may I suggest that we talk about it as a broader committee first, because like I said, the subcommittee with the title of the event is the point committee, it's the point, it's the committee that may, reaches out, does the contact, sets up the logistics, I but they're that. still gonna need the broader committee. I totally understand that and I appreciate okay. you very much. All I right. just want you to be able to say, what are we labeling this on for our next? So what I'm gonna do right now, right here, is I'm gonna say new event committee, uh, new event subcommittee is what I'm gonna name this right here, right now, new event, subcommittee okay sounds good so so whomever is interested in serving on this subcommittee please speak now so you can work with miss beverly yes so query thank you very much we appreciate you we have so query i'm and interested as like, well who's that janelle i'm interested as well all right janelle y'all better make it happen appreciate you all right we got beverly we got so query and we got janelle on the new event subcommittee thank you so much and um, you all will be able to be connected via email so that you all could get together um, decide what that's going to be and report back to the committee for our next meeting in march bless all of your bones thank you so much we appreciate you
Next item on the agenda, please. Jackie Robinson Day, April 15th. Oh, awesome, thank you. So Jackie Robinson Day is on Friday, April 15th, 2022. When we last had this conversation, it was myself and Ms. Pamela Payne on the Jackie Robinson Committee. I am happy to inform you all um, that um, this particular January 31st was the 103rd uh, birthday of Jackie Robinson. And the Jackie Robinson Foundation is going to be opening up the Jackie Robinson Museum in July. We're definitely looking um, to be able to report good news and some type of collaboration um, with them for this particular day. But I'm happy to report that we did hear back from the um, one of the schools within the Jackie Robinson Middle School Complex, and that was Exceed Upper Charter School on today. And we appreciate the amazing timeliness in which we heard back um, from them. Um, they are looking to collaborate with us, which is perfect because that's definitely a great space for us to be able to have uh, that particular event. Um, so the committee definitely has to confer a bit more on this particular date. But again, for those of you that are not aware on last year, um, uh, we did have two sponsors um, that had a trolley uh, to be able to sponsor in the community and there was a tour and there was also uh, just information um, and different gifts that were shared on that particular day. Um, and so the committee is working to formulate more of what that day looks like. Um, I will say, if we're looking for the, you know, if we're looking for the whole, um, community to be able to take part with it being on a Friday. The only thing about that is we do know that some of our community members do celebrate the Sabbath. Um, so we would be looking to have the event during the school day. Um, so, you know, it, I mean, if we, I mean, we can start maybe in the school day and go to a specific time. Um, so we can, you know, see what that looks like, but just putting that out there, um, with wanting to do an event like that with the community and considering the Sabbath, you know, we can start at a time that many will be able to join um, and then maybe it could go up to a specific time, but we'll, you know, have to, you know, work with the schools to see what that would look like, how long we could have the permit up to uh, and different things of, of that sort. Um, definitely also looking to have some tabling, but specific type of tabling for this particular event. I know we go to a lot of events and there's different folks there, different tablings, uh, but this could be an opportunity to also invite, you know, some of those partners that have joined us for our education uh, meeting. Um, it can be specific to having District 17 there with the table, having our CEC um, there with the table, you know, having after school programs, shout out to So Curry, you know, after school programs join us um, for that Jackie Robinson, because it's, it's, it's like a festival, you know, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for us to um, showcase education and history, you know, within our community. So definitely any input that anybody has um, or ideas uh, regarding Jackie Robinson Day, definitely let us know. Um, so the, the committee can, you know, work more to get that together. Um, one thing I want to share, Ms. Lewis, is that it's Good Friday also. Oh, and so um, is there really? isn't school. Yeah, it's Good Friday. Ooh, so there isn't oh. school, which is, which is a good thing because people could be available during the day, but they might be... Um, they might be occupied during the day. Oh yeah, that's a big deal. Which, which makes me think that we won't be able to do it on, on April fifteenth, because that's a that's a religious holiday. And I would think that we would need to move it to the fourteenth, which I actually love because it's my mom's birthday. You know, that is so dope. Uh, <laughs> that's my mom's birthday too. 
My mom's oh birthday my... day for 14 too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. This yeah. is amazing. Cause I definitely was gonna do something in honor of her anyway on that day. For those of you that don't know, we we took time out in a moment of silence for my mom earlier in this particular session today, if if you're not aware of that. I don't know. Um, yeah, she, yes, you'll, I'll let you go back and, and see it. Um, but um, again, these meetings are recorded. Um, so we're able to go back and, and look at them and see anything that we may have missed. But yeah, okay. So that's okay, so I have a, Can I ask a question about this? Um, I know I um, couldn't come in um, right on time today, but um, so for Jackie Robinson Day, there's already a committee formed and I guess whatever events and stuff and that's we're welcome. okay yeah because I don't mind I mean I actually lived down the block and used to work at Jackie Robinson Middle School but um awesome. yeah so if you know I wanted to kind of know a little bit more about it but my mm -hmm. question is what exactly like is this, this a community event is this a school but like what kind of event is it because if it's mostly during the day then how are people in the community going to really be a part of it because people are at work during yeah, the day. And so I, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out how right. that's supposed to work. Um, and like, wouldn't it be more pertinent to maybe do it on a Saturday? And I understand that it may be um, people Sabbath, but, you know, there's no way we're going to accommodate everybody. So... Mm -hmm you know, we want to think about what's going to accommodate most people, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that's, I just had questions around, you know, what, what this day, because I remember hearing about it, but I actually never actually participated in Jackie Robinson. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, get a familiar with, with uh, what that is and what, we're, what are the goals? What are we trying to do? Yeah, I appreciate that. That's a, that's another great point. And this is why we have this on the agenda and we appreciate it. You know, the committee usually comes together and converges, you know, what's going to take place. But certainly this is a new initiative that we have not had in our community. We have not, as far as I know, in my years of being born and raised in Crown Heights, had an event um, like specific to Jackie Robinson Day. Um, certainly if anybody has had any initiative, I would want to know because that's part of the history of our community. Uh, but in, in my days of being here, there hasn't been like a day geared in our community where maybe we can honor one of the leaders in our community, where we can have our community intentional education um, entities to join us on that particular date and we share history. This has not been done. Last year was a first time initiative where quite honestly, I was one of the sponsors as well as our former chair. My business outside of Community Board 9 and his business outside of Community Board 9, Trailblazers and Threshold World LLC came together and sponsored having a trolley you know, and in the community and it went around and gave the history and gave gifts and did all of that. So that was the first time initiative. The trolley stopped in front of the Jackie Robinson Middle School as part of the trek around the community. Um, so that's okay. what happened. That's all that oh. happened last year. All right. So with that said, um, it would seem like maybe having something at the middle school, but maybe even having something at Ebbets Field would make sense to like maybe because I'm sure Ebbets Field should have maybe like a community center or some kind of space between there and the school to maybe do something like I think if we're going to do it like we should really do it up and, you know, like really make it. You know, because like, I guess in my head, I'm thinking if I'm seeing a Jackie Robinson day, I'm thinking we have technology, maybe um, a, what do you call it? Like a screen, information, things, you know, scrolling across. We could create a slideshow. We can have, you know, people speaking oh, some yeah. history. And then oh, we yes. can have fun baseball stuff, right? We can be doing mm -hmm. some activities with kids around baseball. Right. And, you know, things like that would make mm -hmm. it seem like, you know, that it should be like a family fun day type of thing. I, I'm 100% in agreement with you. We had a whole week planned mm -hmm. last year. It was a okay. whole proposal. 
that we can send right back out. And um, so certainly I'd love to have you join that committee and that would be wonderful. So we can, if we're looking to move it to Saturday, you know, that's something, you know, that, um, you know, as a committee, we can talk about that and bring that back to our, our board. Um, but our next, our next meeting is in March, you know, nope. so we would have to, you know, really um, tidy it up. And, and Ms. Ferry, how long do we have before, uh, do you know how long we would have before some type of, if we needed some type of permit for that particular space? We can um, place the, the permit. Yeah, we can place the permit anytime. Okay. Okay. But yeah, we could place it tomorrow and mm -hmm. you know request the space. Okay. Can okay, I'll send you an email. We can do that. I want to put yeah. you on the spot. I want to put you on the spot like that. Um, but right now it looks like we're looking at we're looking at, I mean, we talked about Thursday, April 14th. Um, because we were trying to be a bit inclusive, but of course we know that most people work nine to five or nine to six or however, um, you know, so if we're looking to have a large community day um, that would be a Saturday, um, but then we know that there are those that wouldn't be able to make it. So, you know, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, y'all. Um, so, so we'll see, um, um, you know, um, I don't know if we took a poll right now, um, you know, based on April 14th, or I guess that would be the Saturday, the 16th, the weekend of Easter. I don't know y'all, what y'all, I don't know about the weekend of Easter to do an event, what y'all. So what about the week after? Is there a reason why you're picking that specific week? Because we were trying to do the, we tr the, the, the specific goal was to, to do Jackie Robinson day, which is what the national um, baseball Yeah, but I mean, was. what day, is it a specific day or? It is. It is, oh, it's April, it's yeah, it's April 15th. So we oh, can April also, yeah. Yeah, I so wouldn't can, do it. I would, I would, I would not do anything on the weekend of Easster. I know, of Friday. Easter, right? People mm -hmm. are not, are not mm -hmm. gonna attend. No. I mm -hmm. So I think either we just say, hey, we're, you know, we're doing it in his spirit and his honor. And right. maybe do it the week after, because I just yeah, don't think it could be a week after. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it'll be a good attendance if we try to do it that weekend. Right. So thank you so much. And I won't take any more time uh, regarding this. We can definitely look at the week before or the week after. And that's something that the committee can look at. So thank you so much um, mm -hmm. for volunteering to be on that committee. And I'm glad we were able to at least flesh this part out. It's been very helpful um, knowing hey, that's on Good Friday. Hey, wait, that's Easter weekend. We can't do that. So thank you so much. Um, so thank you for your, your time on that. So um, I just want to get back to the agenda. Uh, the time is now 8.18 and I, I appreciate y'all so much. Next is calendar items, March through June. Yeah, so right now, um, um, as a reminder, for those of you that may not have been here earlier in the meeting on tonight, uh, we were able to make contact with community with um, District 17 and um, our District 17 um, superintendent uh, is, uh, is um, open to joining us for Women's History Month on next month. Um, so very excited about that. Um, she was newly appointed in December, uh, um, Superintendent Lindsay. And so uh, we're looking to get one other person and um, some of you may have guessed, or I don't know, but we'll, uh, we're definitely, we, we do know that we did get a, a new uh, president of Megra Evers College as well. Uh, so if we could actually have these two um, to join us for Women's History Month, that would be awesome. Um, so um, looking to that. Um, and so, I, I bring that up as a calendar item for March um, for our next month um, to be able to have them to join us kind of like in a, a panel style, um, like maybe at the beginning of our meeting, um, you know, and we'd be able to just like maybe take that first half an hour having them um, to join us. Um, which I think would be awesome. So um, if you have any specific questions for them, um, you know, um, definitely you can you can send it to me. Um, I would say that we can talk about it, but I know it's already 820. Um, but 
um, definitely, you know, let me know, you know, anything that you would specifically want to know from our specific, you know, uh, superintendent uh, for our district. Uh, that's a, a big deal. And, you know, it's, it's great. So um, that's a, a calendar item for March. Um, is there anything else going on in March that anybody's aware of that you feel that our committee should, should take part in, in the community? Anybody aware of any events? Definitely want to acknowledge Ms. Pamela Payne. <laughs> All right, so hearing none, anything we already know about April um, that we're looking to do um, the Jackie Robinson event in April. Um, anything happening for May um, that anybody's aware of? I know it's, um, we celebrate our teachers in May, uh, you know, and so I don't know anything, any, any initiatives going on that anybody is aware of or anything anybody wants to do. Yes, Ms. Pamela Payne. I see a hand up. Girl, I'm sorry. I am on my, um, phone and I, I'm not good at working on it on my phone yet, but no, I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Um, Sorry for coming in late. I had another commitment, but I am here. So I don't have anything for um, March, but we could create something if you want, but we could talk offline. Okay. Okay. And I know I definitely have to, got a couple of good things to talk to you about, you know, most of, you know, which we, we did discuss today. And, you know, as a reminder to everyone again, you know, where, you know, these meetings are recorded. Um, so you can go back and look on Facebook. Um, even now you'll see that you are there. And um, if you want to see more people there, uh, y'all would have to show y'all, y'all would have to show y'all faces. <laughs> <laughs> Just so y'all know, um, when y'all look at it and you're like, mm, Melanie looked like she was the only person in the meeting or maybe Melanie, Miss Ferry and so query. <laughs> Um, but just so you all know, because I know we'd be showing our pictures and stuff like that, and y'all have lovely photos. Uh, but just so y'all know, when y'all go back and y'all look on it, you're like, I did. I hear the voices, but I don't. I only see <laughs> these people here. But um, right. so that means everybody saw me chomping earlier. <laughs> trying to get my left count, like I just. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even see I didn't even I was, I was like coming in and I'm like starving and I'm like I'm like oh let me put my thing on camera let me take oh, off that's camera funny. Oh, that's, funny. that's funny all right so yeah so so uh, so May um nothing happening in May um that anybody would want to collaborate with anybody in the community let us know because even with the Jackie Robinson day that's that's an initiative with community board nine and you know other community organizations that would like to partner for that day okay. you know well, so I know, just, you know whatever we're, we're doing i know that um on the uh the youth committee i don't i can't remember what the did the date of it but i know they're trying to do the hbcu um i believe it might be virtual or in-person fair um oh. i know that's coming up but i forgot what i don't remember the date yet I don't know if I know that they picked the date yet, but I know that's something that maybe, I mean, I don't know how we cross work with each other. I don't know any of that, but I just, because I'm on both, I know that's something that they're working to come up with. Well, we definitely want to partner with our, with our youth committee right. on an education event. I mean, right. I went to an HBCU, Clark Atlanta Me University. Too. I'm going to shout too. out my university. But I did start right here in the City University of New York at Megar Evers. I'm just, the whole community knows now where Melanie went to school. Uh, so definitely, um, we want to be a part of that. So, you know, all right, Mr. Primo, Mr. Chair Primo of our, edu our youth committee, we definitely want to join you all. So that's an initiative right there. So um, we're just going to need to check the calendar to see when they have their next meeting and try to be there, you know, mm -hmm. to make sure that we can um, also work to work with them to collaborate on, you know, anything yeah. they might need. Thank you okay. so much for that. So that's May. That's like in May. All right. I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even know the date. I don't know if it, it was solidified yet. I just know that, that they said it was something up and coming, but I don't know what the date is yet. Okay, well, well, we we probably gonna need to get that date so we don't, you know, make sure we're good. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so May, 
Um, all I know is that we we usually honor our teachers and, and staff um, in you know national. Um, oh goodness, I don't know why it's escaping me, but y'all know it's teacher amazing. appreciation. Yes, thank you very much, teacher appreciation month and all that good stuff. Um, you know, or maybe we'll just like even if it's just acknowledging them on our, our main meeting, um, just let me know. And we can always have special guests. Like if you all have somebody, um, an idea for somebody for a special guest to come, you know, during these different months, you know, um, definitely let us know. Um, and then there's June. And, and, you know, our meeting is the first Thursday. So we're pretty much gonna be done. You know, if there's something that we wanna do in June or if that's like maybe, when we want to do, if we still wanted to do a separate book giveaway, us in this book giveaway, we're going to get this thing done after a while. Um, um, well, wouldn't, um, since it's June, it would probably be great maybe to do something for end of the school year type of something that maybe supports the kids for regents or testing or you know something that might help them because June is like a funny, a, a lot of testing that month. So maybe mm -hmm. there's something we can do, even if it's, you know, pencils, pens, papers, I don't know, whatever mm -hmm. things they may need, study guides, you know, I don't know if the book donations could be Regents books or, you know, because sometimes kids, if the schools don't have enough or something like that, I don't know, but maybe it could just be something towards the end of the year. Okay. Um, maybe we can contact, I don't know if that's something we want to partner with our District 17 um, because they did do it, the state of the district address. And, you know, then there's also the CEC. I don't know if that's something we can partner with them on to see if we can get resources. Um, yeah. and, and then we will have to figure out how we're doing that. Is that to specific schools or how we would disseminate that? We would have to flush that out a little bit. Um, it does, is that, is that another subcommittee that needs to be formed um, for us to get that together, it sounds like? Yeah, maybe. But also I'm thinking like being as though kids may be like somewhat behind and all of that due to pandemic, like how you're doing something with books and maybe that could be a time where if there's like different educators or people who are good at like, I'm good at English or writing and I could look at the books and do a tutoring session. Like they have multiple sessions available for kids virtually. So that to prepare them for the test, you know, so that they get extra help because sometimes different teachers and different people explain things different ways. And it mm -hmm. might resonate with some of the kids to have different people supporting them with that. And it could be like a volunteer things for different members in the community to help a group of students. Hmm. Okay. You know, when you were saying that, I was also hearing having like, like a prep, a representative from some type of preparatory, um, not preparatory, but um, some type of um, test prep. Yeah, someone to to represent and kind of show teachers in our community, like some type of preparation for the test or something like that, like maybe a guest speaker. Um, but I know I did hear what you were saying, mm -hmm. having a tutor. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it sounds like a couple of good things. So I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can summarize something and put it in the email and, and we work more on that. All right. Um, let us know. Um, okay. um, what, did we have anything else on the agenda? I know it's 829. We're going to be well, can I do business. Yeah. I know that I missed. Oh, can I ask a question for something that might have passed or do I always, should I just wait? Uh, I, can you just wait a little bit, uh, just so mm -hmm. we could get through the agenda? Yep. Mm -hmm. New Thanks. business is next. Okay. Um, Madam Chair, point of information. Um, uh, before you move on, youth services, their meeting is going to be March 1st, Tuesday, March 1st. And also point of information, you do have a quorum for this meeting. Thank you so much. Good night, Sister Queen Arigato, all that good stuff. So um, for those of you that do not know, um, that was our district manager um, making us aware that with us having a quorum, that means that we have enough people here right now to take a formal vote um, regarding the treasurer for our committee. 
I want you to know that we've had one person that is interested in serving as the treasurer for our committee, and that is Janiel. She is interested in serving as the treasurer and she's the only one um, that has expressed interest and we need one and she's here. So we can actually vote her in officially. Also, um, we know that uh, So Creary uh, expressed interest in being our vice chair. Is that still the case? Um, thank you. As well, um, hmm, as um, Principal Maureen Ferry expressed interest in serving um, this position on this evening as well. Um, I'm not sure if we were able to get clarification on whether or not we can have two um, vice chairs, um, district manager or not. Sorry about that. Um, so I, I will need to talk to corporation counsel of uh, the law department yeah. to see the legality, yes. Mm -hmm. So should we have, should we take a vote for vice chair tonight or just treasurer tonight? I'm happy to throw my hat in for secretary. I think just with the caveat that I, oh, um, yeah, that I may be out for school events and I would need someone to, to stand in if that were, if I had a conflict. Well, bless you. Thank you so much. We can go on and move along with this here. All right. So everyone, thank you so much for making sure you were here before we got off this call today. So as it stands right now, we have So Creary as the only person right now um, ready, willing, and able to serve as vice chair for this committee. That means if I'm not able to be here, she is here in my stead. That means she is making sure that our minutes are being read and um, she has a report. And if I'm not able to be at an executive committee meeting with our community board leadership, she'll be there or we'll both be there. Um, she, whatever you see me doing, she'll be doing, you know, and we'll be uh, Batman and Batman. Okay, not Batman and Robin, you know, um, you know we'll work together. You know, and so um, I definitely need that person more now than ever. Um, and Maureen Ferry, Principal Maureen Ferry. Oh, and just so you all know, So Creary is actually, um, she um, has her own after school program. Isn't that correct, So Creary? Um, so she represents that entity of education. So shout out to her for that. Um, principal Maureen Ferry, she's the principal of Exceed Upper Charter School um, in the Jackie Robinson Middle School Building Complex. If you didn't know, um, and then we have Janelle. Janelle, tell us a little more about you your, yourself right quick that, you know, Janelle, our treasurer, tell us a little bit uh, more about you right quick. Sure. Uh, so my journey is actually pretty interesting. I actually started off my career in investment banking um, and I thought that was going to be my life. But after a year about doing so, I realized that, you know, I always love working with the community, specifically the youth within my community. And I didn't realize at the moment that like I can take my passion and actually turn it into a career. So I decided to leave investment banking um, and I've been working in youth development ever since. I work with um, Big Brothers, Big Sisters in New York City. It's a mentoring organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I lead a program called Bigs in Blue, which is a program to bridge the gap between the youth and the police. Um, so that's that's what I do. Awesome. Look at this amazing. I'm going to need y'all to make sure y'all present. And I'm glad y'all present. Okay. So look at this amazing, amazing group we got here. Okay. With that being said, all those in favor. Dante. Do you want to run this part or should I still be running this part? This is all you, madam. <laughs> how did I knew you was going to say that? All right. So um, does everybody know how to raise their hand on this thing here on, on the Zoom? Anybody that doesn't know how, let me know. Speak now forever. Hold your peace. And that's okay. It's not to make you look bad. You know, everybody's still learning on these things. We just want to make sure we can do a, the proper vote. All right, so right now on the call, I see Ms. Pamela Payne, Ms. Beverly Newsom. Ms. Beverly, you still here? I gotta make sure that everybody is ready. Yes, I'm here. Oh, awesome, thank you so much. Ms. Pamela Payne, Ms. Beverly Newsom, Ms. Janelle, uh, Bazil, myself, uh, Ms. Maureen Ferry, so Curry. Um, so six, yes? 
Correct, yes. Okay, okay, so it's six of us here and we can vote. So the first vote is going to be for uh, vice chair. All those in favor of having so Query serve as vice chair of the education committee, uh, please uh, raise your hand on the uh, the zoom here and and look at there you go okay okay keep your hands up Thank you so much. So it is unanimous that our new vice chair will be so query. Thank you so much. Yay, we are making black history tonight, community. All right, thank you so much. You may put your hands down. So just like you raised your hand, you'll be able to lower it. All right, and for secretary, of our community board nine, we have Principal Ferry, more Principal Maureen Ferry, that would be our secretary. Um, she'll be. Um, a, uh, so Dante, does does that mean that Miss Ferry would be responsible for the minutes going forward, or? Yes, that's correct. I, and I I will send you the template, <laughs> so you have it. Perfect. Okay, any other additional um, responsibilities maybe she should know of that you all have been doing that would be hers? Um, uh, let me let me speak to the administrator, let, let me speak to the staff and then I'll send um, Principal Ferry an email. Uh, I, honestly, I don't know all the responsibilities of the secretary off the top of my head, but mm -hmm. um, mostly the minutes and you know we have a template for that and so, uh, it yeah. should be pretty cut, uh, yeah, cut for. Yeah, I was just checking. I was just checking for you, Principal Ferry, because I do understand you are a principal and it's not, you know, seriously, you know? So, but I, but I know for the most part, it's for the most part, it's the minutes. So bless you for that. That's really serious. So thank you so much. We appreciate everybody. So all those in favor of having uh, Principal Maureen Ferry to serve as our secretary of our community board nine education committee. Please raise your. Thank you so much. And once again, it is unanimous. All right, and last but not least, to serve as treasurer for our education committee for community board nine, um, the one and only Janelle Bazil is interested in serving. What have you, what say you community? And as a re well, I don't know. As a reminder, you can vote for yourself. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> All righty, thank you so much. And again, it's unanimous. We now have a vice chair. I have a vice chair. So Query, thank you so much. My new vice chair, so Query, our new secretary, Principal Maureen Ferry, and our new treasurer, Janelle Bazil. Yay, thank you so much, so much. We appreciate you. We are grateful for your volunteerism. We are all volunteering, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that don't know, since everybody else shared, I shared a little bit, I work in higher education during the day. Um, and so, um, yeah, we're all <laughs> making it happen because we wanna make a difference in our communities. So we thank you. We thank you for your partnership, your collaboration and your time after 
everything we do all day to be able to get on here and, and do what we do. So thank you so much. But the meeting's still not over and I know it's 840. What else do we have on the agenda? Principal um, Carey. Any other new business? I don't think so. I, wanna, any, I, there... I don't want to be the person who. No, it's okay. It, it's okay. But I, I had something from before that um, yeah. I wanted as a community member wanted to bring something up, but I don't know the appropriate time. Appropriate. Yeah, it it's 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 what's after this. It's um okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's, the next thing is 2021-22 representative CE17 community council. So it would be that. But Ms. Pamela Payne, did you have something under new business that you wanted to share um relating to um anything with the board? Um actually I do. I want us to talk about, and we can talk about it offline before we could um, bring it to the team, but um, I'm working with this organization called Brookings University, and they want to have a community co conversation to see how parents and community and students feel about public education, and we give out grants, and it'll be a confidentiality it's for the administrators in the school. And I just want us to have that kind of conversation to see how we can really support our parents and our families as we tr transition under a new um, chancellor in the New York City public school system. So- Okay, what did you say the name of the, the school was again? I'll, I'll forward you um, the con conversation toolkit and a little bit about so if you send me your email, mm -hmm. I will forward um, the information to you so you can read up on it and then we can go further if you like. Yes, I believe I, um, I, believe I replied to an email um, today. Um, so you'll see it, but I'll send you something else as well. And okay. um, I know that our committee also is able to um, advocate in relation to funding um within our district as well that's something else under new business that i will i'll bring up in our next meeting as well as via email um so everyone is is kind of aware of those different areas so this is in relation to funding and needs um, within our district um under new business that i'm bringing up today that i'll share more via email so that we can flesh it out a bit more to our community um in march um and so with that being said i'll move back to um principal ferry um for the next item on agenda and what she is on it <laughs> okay public comment section mm -hmm. yes and i believe you had a public comment Yes, so I'm going to make this really quick. So um, you do not need to call me Principal Ferry, everybody. <laughs> you can call me Maureen. I have had the privilege of, of serving as principal at Exceed Upper School for the past six years and um, had the privilege of working with both, both of Melanie's girls as they went through middle school and are now in high school. And um, every year, my, my school in collaboration with the other two schools in the building, so some of you know it's Jackie Robinson Elementary School and Ebbets Field Middle School, and then my school is on the top floor. We work together to um, put on some kind of panel or community event every spring. And last year, we focused on, um, on the vaccine and on vaccine hesitancy and information. And so we had folks from the community, we had families from our schools who are um, nurses, we had um, city council member, um, we had council member Lori Kumbo there, Kumbo there. We had um, a number of folks, Mr. Craig Edwards, who's the borough safety director, and this year, a big need across our, our schools with kids and with families is mental health. And so we're hosting, it's gonna be a virtual panel on mental health. And we're looking for experts in the field and also in the community to talk to families and kids across our three schools in the Jackie Robinson campus about mental health and if applicable, their offerings. And so, um, 
you probably all know this, but it's you know, the past two years have have hit kids hard, and it's been hard coming back to school and being in school, um, and with you know with the time out of school in remote learning, it has taken a toll on the mental health of so many kids and families, and so. The idea is to bring the school community together and share mental health resources. And so we're wondering if the board would be, the committee would be interested in partnering or if you know any contacts who might be, um, might be willing to serve on the panel as you know, community members who are in the mental health field. Wow. Thank you so much for extending the opportunity for us to, to partner on that initiative. What is what is the date of the event? I'm sorry. April 12th. Oh. I know. <laughs> Coming up. Okay. And forgive me, what would you be looking for the for the board to do for that? Uh, if, as you, the partner? if you know of a just as a, you know, if you know of a of someone who might sound like a strong panelist, someone who is working in the community, um, working in mental health right now, and could potentially serve as a panelist if anybody does on the committee. Um, well, I can. I am a licensed social worker, um, and I've been in school social worker for some years and ran after school programs in the community. So, if there's some way I can help, um, I'll be happy to. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And as I guess, you know, the community, the community board nine can definitely help promote the event. If there's a flyer, um, it can definitely go out in the community. Um, if we're looking to have community board and the education committee listed as a partner for the event, um, I guess I'm just wondering like what additional support would you need um, with for our name to be on there and, and any input from anybody has on this, definitely um, feel free to share. Um. Yeah, we, we'd love to partner. And if you can help promote it, that would be great. And um, have a, having a representative there would be awesome. And Sol, if you wanna be a panelist, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's how we that's how we do it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I like doing things from a real practical approach, you know, with things, you know, and a lot of the times just having conversations and connecting with your kids, like just different strategies around that for them to open up to you. I find it's super helpful that people kind of always go through these like really broad discussions, but sometimes just narrowing it down to the simple things you could do every day you know, makes a big difference. So I would definitely be open to be a panelist. Thank you so much for bringing that to our attention and, and for the invitation as well. Um, so I would be taking this back. If you can, if there's, if you can um, send me a summary of the event and um, I can bring it to the attention of our, the uh, executive leadership um, for us to be a partner for the event. That would be, I'll definitely present that to the executive leadership um, uh, for us to be able to move forward as an official partner on the event. And we'll look at that as well. And thank you again for the invitation. I think it's great. Um, you know, mental health is um, definitely something that, you know, our community um, continues to need. And, um, you know, I'm definitely gonna be signing up for therapists because yeah, um, the reality of not having my mother here physically is a real, real thing. Um, but I'm grateful for her spirit and I have an angel watching over me. So I'll love her forever. And I know she'll love me forever. So thanks so much. Um, I believe we have no other items on the agenda. Let me know. Just to add, um, we have Lika Evans and they have a nursing unit. Maybe that's an opportunity for us to reach out and share the information with me. Um, I might be able to find somebody who would want to be a panelist as well, but I just need the information to share. That would be, that would be great. I will happily share the information with Melanie and maybe you could share it out with everybody else. Mm -hmm. okay. That would yep. be awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, Meg Evans also has a social work department. Okay, 
Cool. Yeah. I think resources like families want to know, like they're not where alone things are. and where things are exactly. Yep. Um, the last, there are two last things on the agenda are prep for exec board, full board, and then adjournment. Yeah. Uh, yes. Before, ma Madam Chair, I just wanted to tell Principal um, Ferry, uh, if, if you have someone else, <laughs> because you're on this committee, it might be beneficial to go, uh, to have another representative go to the Health and Social Services Committee meeting, which is actually at the same time as this committee meeting. Um, usually there's someone, um, uh, they, they usually have representatives from Kings County uh, that show up to the committee meeting, so that might be a little plug for you as well. If you have a you know another a proxy who can probably go in your in your stand. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, definitely. That's good. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for that. And so, in preparation um, for the executive committee meeting that I will be attending, and definitely inviting so curious to get um, an idea of what that's like, um, we will be sharing with them. Um, the fact that we will be having our superintendent of district 17 to join us uh, for Women's History Month for our March meeting, um, as well as inviting uh, the president of Mega Everest College, you heard it here first, if she's available, um, you know, so we can have like a quick little panel within that first um, um, half an hour to 45 minutes um, of our next meeting of, for March. Um, and we'll also be sharing with the committee regarding um, you know, just the upcoming um, Jackie Robinson Day, um, what we decided to do regarding the spelling bee. I don't know if this is too much, but we'll see. Uh, but we'll be preparing to share that with our executive uh, committee, um, as well as um, potential partnership um, with the Exceed Upper Charter School um, regarding the mental um, health event um, that they'll be having. Um, as well as sharing with them the great news that we now have a vice chair, a secretary and a treasurer. This has been the most awesome, productive meeting. I'm glad that it worked out um, for us on tonight. I thank you all for joining us um, and um, grateful for the angels watching over us. So have an excellent evening. Thank you so much again for all of your volunteerism. Together, everyone achieves more. So I look forward to us corresponding via email and our subcommittees making it happen. Shout out to every one of you for making a difference in our community. We appreciate you and we're here on Purpose for a Purpose. So have a great evening and thank you so much. Melanie, can we, it, it, we're gonna stop the recording, right? Yes.